Hi, I'm Mike Biggs and welcome to Ask Mike, which is a question and answer session which is designed to help you as a gardener uh, make your gardening easier, more successful and a lot more fun. And as usual, this is a no hype zone. Today's question comes from Brent from Lansing in Michigan and he says, I'm growing in Rockville, I'm new to this and I keep getting different advice as to different nutrient strengths. Can you help me please? We always have to give the plant more nutrient than what it really requires and this is because the nutrient is taken up in the nutrient stream, in the water stream, and the amount of water taken up will dictate the amount of nutrient taken up. On the other hand, if you put too much nutrient in, then the plant can't, it does interfere with the plant's water uptake, so you can't make it too strong either. So that's why you get these differing areas of advice, because different places have different requirements and different plants have different requirements and different stages of plant growth have different requirements different climates have different requirements so you keep it right out of trouble if you run your nutrient strength around an EC of 1.5 to 2.2 uh, but you can range between 1 and 2.5 just remember the hotter the climate hot dry climate hot dry conditions lower nutrient strength more water cool humid conditions higher nutrient strength, less water, a lower nutrient strength because a vegetative plant uses more water, and if a plant is flowering, a higher nutrient strength because a flowering plant uses less water. So if you stick to those figures of between 1.5 and 2.2, that covers most situations, and I'm sure you won't run into any trouble. Okay, the vegetative phase of the plant, of course, is that a phase where it's doing all its growth, laying its foundation, and before it, it starts flowering. And flowering is often triggered by photo period or short day lengths and once that occurs you start looking at changing your nutrient solution and making it stronger. Well thanks for joining us. If you have any indoor gardening questions just email. This is Mike signing off.